afternoon, everybody. Olav here, and welcome back to a game we haven't played in a while, No Man's Sky. Now, they've done their next update, which is a, was a massive, massive update. Like, they changed a lot of stuff. Now, hopefully, it's not too bad. Well, we've got a blue sky, but we've got particles falling on us. Oh, it is very cold. Rad's not so bad. Toxicity, not horrible, but it is freaking cold. It is very, very cold. That's not great. Wow. I don't know if I've... Okay, so we need to repair our scanner. Right. Um... Our jetpack's online. Cool. We've got a sentinel near us. Awesome. Now I think one of the, yeah. So yeah, one of the big changes is we have third party, we have third person all right, so to repair our scanner, we need, uh, we need ferrite dust. Um, our starship, we don't, our hazard protection is pretty low and falling, so we need to find some sodium or sodium nitrate. Which, if we can repair our... Scanner, we should be able to. All right, can we repair that? Yes, we can. Awesome. All right, so scanner is back up and running. So we need a source of sodium. Na, yes. All right. So we need, yeah, we need to get to the sodium-rich plants, gather some of those up, and recharge our uh. Okay. Recharge that. Thank you. Okay, so now we are protected again. Awesome. Uh, oxygen, oxygen capsule, or life support. What can we make? We can make uh, life support gel with dihydrogen jelly, which is 40 pieces of dihydrogen, which I think are these things, aren't they? Yes, that's dihydrogen. Okay. So. Alright, so it said that we had found our spaceship, or a spaceship. Not that far away. Awesome. So yeah, they've changed things a lot. It looks better. It's, it looks better. It feels better. Um... You kind of start off like frantic because it's like, oh yeah, you're you you are like close to death and and so we need a vis. One of the big things that we need is a visor, uh, a visor analyzer. So there is our starship. How we got thrown that far from our starship, and our starship is not looking good. We may have bailed out. We may have had to have bailed out. All right, so let's get in. That's going to bring up our... That's going to help recharge our hazard shield. Uh, Atlas connection intermittent. Launch thrusters offline. Pulse engine offline. That's not great. 
My exosuit has directed me to a crashed starship. The controls react to my touch, and I can only assume it belongs to me. But I have no memory of it. No sense of a before. Okay. Log 4925A, unavailable, substituting data. Exosuit connection, suggestion. Pilot should perform maintenance. Select desired path. Repair ship systems. Self-guided repair protocols initiated. Awesome. Pulse engine, we need a hermetic shield, seal and metal plating. What do we need for that? Uh, nope, not that. All right, so we need uh, 50 ferrite dust for that. And I don't know how to make hermetic seals. But I can at least... Alright, so we should be able to make a hull plating. Awesome. So now we can come over here and we can say... Okay, so the launch thrusters need dihydrogen jelly and pure ferrite. All right, so dihydrogen jelly. We still need some more of that. Okay. But we should be able to scan and... Okay, there's some... All right, that should be enough to make dihydrogen jelly. Yes. Okay, cool. So now we should be able to go to our starship, say repair. Oh, starship out of range. Wow, it's got a very, very small range, doesn't it? I suppose I could look for, for stuff here. All right, uh, dihydrogen jelly. Cool. What are you? Distress beacon. Uh, transfer deleted. Probable boundary separation failure. Vessel 16 emptied. Diagnostic. No connection. Analysis awaiting fresh iteration. Anomaly containment prepared. All right. Let's broadcast a distress signal and see if anybody can help us. Position logged, system integrity scan initialized, anomaly is compliant. That's good, I think. What do you have for us? You have dihydrogen. We need Atlas Pass V1 for that. Dihydrogen. Dihydrogen. Handfuls of corroded metal, the result of years of poor maintenance, handle with care. 20 units each? Okay. Uh, we'll put that in our starship, I guess. All right. So we do have stuff that we can... We do have stuff that we can install here. For that, we need one carbon nanotubes for the analysis visor, which is good. All right. Uh, no, we need you. We need 50 carbon for that. Okay. Well, thankfully, we have plenty of trees around. Now, see, this one says that we need to analyze the tree to get our to get the secondary uh se to get some secondary materials from it. All right, that should be enough to put in a tech visor, or no, build the carbon, the... Right, we need to build those, and then we can say, put a visor analyzer, which then if we hit F, that brings that up, and we can scan this, and we can say, okay, primary element, we know it's carbon, secondary is mordite. Interesting. So this one gives us ferrite dust. 
as well as salt. And of course, everything's like named or has a primary, has a name already, it's pr has a primary name. So dioxide. So we get ferrite dust from this right up until it explodes. Then we get what? Ferrite dust and dioxide. Okay. All right. There's some sodium stuff here. Good. So, yeah. Dioxide, oxygen. Cool. All right, so what do we need? Carbon crystals, what are you? You're like walking butts. You are, you're porous skin, it's diet of petals, it is unafraid. What are you guys? Wait, what are you, first of all? Uh, deuterium rich plant? Okay, that gives us a surge to our backpack. Uh, we need an advanced mining laser to get condensed carbon from that. All right, so we need to focus on getting carbon. Now notice you don't actually have to let your mining laser go down all the way. You just need to let it start to go down and let it start to go down and you can and it'll bump right back up. Yes, this is what I was wanting to. Frost crystals? What are frost crystals? But see, yeah, once it starts doing it, you can you can hit fire again, and it'll boost you, and it'll go straight back up. Now the pure ferrite. Nope, we can't get the pure ferrite. For that, we need an advanced mining laser. But the frost crystals, yeah, I don't know what those, I don't know what those are. But we should make sure to get carbon for all of the stuff that we're mining up right now. And we should redo our hazard protection. So it takes 32 to redo our, she our hazard shields. Weapon charge depleted. Right. But we should have enough, yeah, 200 to fully charge our laser. Good to know. Yeah, but it's falling from 100, so I'm not that worried about it. So yeah, this is like getting us a lot of... Okay, so those trees get us a lot of carbon. That's good. So we've got enough to fully recharge our laser again beyond what we have right now. We've got more than enough. What do we need for our jump? Uh, we need the pure ferrite, which we can't mine pure ferrite. Okay, cargo drop. 
But that's a damaged container, so that's just going to get us rusted metal. Or did it? Wait, did, was that... Okay, so we got sodium nitrate from that. Oh, wait a second. So is that... Is that basically just telling us, hey, okay, so... So we have to clear out, is that, do we have to clear out the rusted, the, the rusted metal in order to be able to open that? Is that what it did? So it's rusted shut, we clear away, we pick up the rusted metal. Yes. Okay. So... Alright, I gotcha. So, fr frosted crystals, what do those do? Frost work requires frozen conditions. Hi uh, can be framed in all environments with the aid of hydroponics. A beautiful blue crystal, this organic compound possesses both great hardness and shimmering translucence. It is harvested from the leaves of the frost wart. Okay. I still need to know how to make... Can we make... Okay, so we can... Oh! A portable refiner! Okay. So if we make a hot plating... Then we can say we want to make. Okay, so we can input ferrite dust. We can make 62 pure ferrite. How much do we need to do that? We just need 50. Okay, so can we back that? Yes, we can. So let's back that off. We'll make 50 pure ferrite. Okay, so we can actually like we can we can refine stuff that we find so we don't have to mine the pure ferrite. We can just mine pure ferrite dust. Nice. I'm guessing dioxide. Nope, salt. Okay. All right, but see, now if we hop back in our ship. Starship critically damaged, vital, po unable to synthesize required components. Okay, pulse engine requires a hermetic seal. Recommendation, co iteration, compar comparison reveals hermetic shield nearby. Navigation data, but you see our, um, our... Uh, hazard shields are going up by being indoors so we can charge those but we don't have to we don't have to to charge them with sodium provided we can provided we get all right we'll dump that to our ship So, pure ferrite. Launch thrusters are now activated. Launch thrusters go up with Starship launch fuel or uranium. What is it needed for that? Metal plating and dihydrogen. Okay. Wait, so the distress beacon that we were at before has the information we need? Appear inside the beacon's housing, as well as distress broadcast unit, it contains a navigational data module. Okay, so we need to build a signal booster to use that. So we need one metal plating. Okay. 
Okay, so we can, and we need carbon nanotubes as well. There we go. All right. Wow, this is really getting detailed. Okay, so we'll input the data. Everything's good. Scan def distress frequencies, because it said that there was a defense, a, a distress sequence, distress beacon out there, a distress signal that may be able to tell us how to f how to make the hermetic seals. So there is something out that way. About a thousand, thousand clicks out, maybe. But, that is all going to have to wait until next time. Because, I just want to make sure that we're, we've got it saved. Restore point saved, good. Because, we are all out of time for today. This actually went a little bit longer than anticipated, but we're kind of getting into it and stuff like that. I may be back with this again Friday. I don't know because I've been sick and not feeling well. I haven't written any scripts or anything. Um, so, you know, doing games and stuff, that's kind of off the cuff. You don't have to really sit down and script anything. So, uh, we may be back with this Friday to, to explore some more just to really get in and, and stuff. Um, don't forget, we are doing a month-long charity drive for diabetic, uh, for diabetes action. Uh, they are a research and education organization, um, very highly rated, very small operating expenses and stuff like that. The link is down in the description below. It's the very first link in the description. Uh, that will take you to a, to the, the web the web page for our campaign that's kind of part of their campaign. We're like a subset of their campaign. Um, none of the money comes to me. It all goes directly to the to diabetic diabetes action. Uh, nothing comes to me. That's that page is just there basically to say, hey, what have we raised as a community? Uh, the goal is five hundred dollars. Like I said, it goes for a month. I'll be doing some live streams. Uh, and stuff like that for for a real a, a real hard drive for it and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, if you want and if you can, please click and click the link in the description down below and go to that. As always, thank you guys very much for watching and don't forget to prod the subscribe button down below so that you can stay tuned for more. From Olaf Productions. If you wanna see some crazy and awesome basic, you should meet me and my friends. Even though this totem, no I saw something like this in the forest. But it wasn't emitting heat, but it was emitting heat with frost. Dresses don't make no sense at all. Look, I don't usually ask for help from nobody, but would you take a look? Sure.